You don't think Cooper Davis knew what was at stake? He started working that outside leg to show the judges he was in total control, going for some extra style points. He needs 87 and three quarters to knock JB into the second chance bracket. He gets it, 87 and three quarters points, exactly what he needed. JB Mooney is now gonna have to take the back door if he wants to be the Music City Knockout Champion. <laughs> Well, here's the good news. I feel like the guy that, that really opened up and went for it got it. But here's the other part of the good news. The second chance bracket, as I've said, is the hardest way you can get there. You're talking about the rankest bulls the whole way through. As a fan, what can be more exciting than watching a, a J.D. Mooney go through the second chance bracket? It got a little tricky towards the end. I don't think he's going to beat Lockwood for the round, but he should have enough to win this event over Stormy Wing. Remember, 85 and three quarters to win the event, 90 and a quarter to win the round, and he gets the event. 86 and three quarters, Cooper Davis has gone back to back event wins. Nashville last week, and now Tulsa. Yeah. <laughs> That was a great ride. They docked him for messing him up at the end right here. He got out of position. Judges are supposed to dock him. But what a great job right there, man. He's, he's led this event from start to finish. I mean, he, he left no doubt in everybody's mind in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who the best bull rider was. There's the nod. <laughs> hey! Now you gotta get away. Cooper Davis rolls to safety and lightning strikes again in Idaho. An 86 in round one and an 89 in round number two. Talking with Chad Berger before the event started about some of the new bulls here. He said this was his pick for the go around win. He knows what he's talking about. He tied for third in round number one. He moves to the lead in round number two. And J-Dub, this goes back to your very important point about winning rounds. Davis, if he can win this round and the event, has closed that gap mightily. That's what I'm talking about. If you can, the, everybody wants to, you know, concentrate on that average points and the event wins. That's great, but when you go to stacking those round wins on top of it, it just gains you double the ground every time. And that's what you've got to do when you're behind and you're playing catch up, you can't pull your foot off that throttle. We've only got two events after this and before that world finals. You have to mash on it and throw caution to the wind and let it all hang out. We Davis has an answer in a similar landing to Jess Lockwood, but unlike Lockwood who was bucked off, Cooper Davis would get a score and I have to think we've got a new leader. Yeah, if we don't, I, I'm really going to disagree with these judges. <laughs> that was a really good bull. Big Cat had a great out in my opinion. Cooper Davis just rode him so good that it makes him look like he was just easy to ride. That was an outstanding job in a really big time pressure situation. Great job, Cooper Davis. I love <laughs> Cooper Davis needs to get off. And now that he is, we can give him credit. He has ridden Beaver Creek Bow to the top of the mountain. Let me just start, Craig, by saying 34 other guys in this building absolutely do not like that bull right there. That's the kind of bull that is left at the end of the draft. He quite possibly would have been the last bull pick tonight if Cooper Davis wasn't at this event. This is what it's like to have belief in yourself that you can ride any bull that there is. And right now, Cooper Davis can. Cooper Davis.
notches 89 and three quarters. He moves to the top of the heap. He is our new leader in the event with a chance to win his third ever event, excuse me, third event this season. Threes, those are three of the future of the PBR. Needs to get out of there. After setting perhaps a new standard for the round aboard Catfish John, he takes a shot to the chest that's even going to impress Jared Allen. 91 points. Exactly what he needed to do. This is the way a guy rides when he wants a world championship. I mean, look at this. This is two great athletes going at it as hard as they both can. And I'll tell you what, he's got a lot of adrenaline pumping through him when that bull tangles him up and hooks him to the ground like that. As that adrenaline starts to wear off, he is gonna be sore from that. The key to converting anything is putting yourself in a position to win. Cooper Davis at times hasn't been the flashiest. Cooper Davis at times has had to miss because of injury. But when he has needed to deliver, he has done it.